So this is a species which is familiar to most people, even if you don't know the detail, most people can identify this leaf shape as an oak leaf. It's such a familiar sort of emblem and symbol and shape in, in lots of different parts of our culture. Oak is probably, arguably, the backbone of our, our tree stock in, in, in the UK, in England in particular. Um, and one of the things I want to try and get over here is how we can identify uh, the differences between our two main native oaks. Now this one here is a thing called Quercus rober, that's the Latin name, it's known as English oak or common oak. And uh, the way to identify this is if we pull off a couple of leaves, here's one, um, you'll see that it has a very, very short stem on the base. It's almost attached directly onto the uh, branch or branchlet there. It has a very, very short stem. An English oak, Quercus rober, always has that very, very short stalk on the leaf. In contrast, and again, most people can identify this, it's a bit early in the year, so the acorns aren't fully developed, but the acorns on, uh, on English oak, Quercus rober, are attached with a long stalk. So there's a long stalk holding the uh, acorn onto the tree, but there's almost no stalk at all holding the leaf. That's Quercus rober. So the other native oak is a thing called sessile oak, and it tends to occur more in the north and the west of the UK, particularly in Wales and Scotland and down the southwest coast. And on first glance, it looks very similar to this one, Quercus rober, but I'm just going to improvise to show you what sessile oak actually looks like. Sessile oak, in contrast to English oak, has a long stalk on the leaf. And a stalk on sessile oak generally looks like that. It's usually about 12, 14, maybe even 15 millimetres long. A distinct stalk that attaches the leaf onto the, onto the tree itself, onto the branch. In contrast with sessile oak to English oak, the acorns on sessile oak do not have a long stalk on. In fact, they have virtually no stalk at all, and they're attached almost directly onto the tree itself. So it's a little bit of reversal. Sessile oak has a stalk on the leaf, but it has no stalk on the acorn. English oak has little or no stalk on the leaf, but it has uh, a long stalk on the acorn. And that's how you can distinguish between the two main native oaks. Now in timber terms, both of these native oaks have some very, very positive qualities. Um, oak timber, as a lot of people probably realise, is very durable, it's very strong, it can take impact and stress in all sorts of different ways. You can see oak frame buildings that have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, um, immensely strong, immensely durable. Uh, it has this ability to take load and to be uh, performing very well in engineering timber situations. So if you're building a, a, an oak frame building, you'll try and use those characteristics of the oak to make it even stronger and even more durable as the building goes forward. In biodiversity terms, uh, oak tends to have some of the highest levels of invertebrates and associated species um, linked to it. So it has huge biodiversity value and it's just a very familiar part of our UK landscape whether it's a hedgerow tree with a big wide open crown or whether it's a plantation grown timber tree with a clean stem, better for sawmill recovery and a smaller crown. But it's still a very familiar part of our landscape. 